Hi Taurus Moons, thank you so much for being here. I am Divine Pim Carrot 144. Very happy, grateful, and blessed to bring you this reading. This reading is designed for those who have their moon sign in the lovely sign of Taurus, unlimited to anyone who should find this message or should this message find you. For this reading, I will be doing a three card spread, past, present, and future, using the Melanated Classic Tarot deck. I'm also going to clarify those cards with the Egyptian Tarot deck. For this particular round for the zodiac signs, the moon signs, I will be doing a spotlight series. And the wonderful Pisces moons are in the spotlight for this round here. So I will be leaving some great information on Pisces, the definition, and then a um, nice little synopsis should we say, of the characteristics and personalities of uh, Pisces moons. And I'm doing this so that we can all have a greater understanding of those outside of us to help us stay connected, not just with those who are outside of us, but also with the Piscean moon energy within us. So I do encourage you to check that out. And um, with the last reading that I did for Aries moons, Pisces moons did come through. Their energy was here. And I do have the beautiful scales here with the wonderful glitter. Very magical energy and a very magical presence. So open your heart just a little bit more and allow that Piscean moon energy to come through. Now, as I was shuffling your cards here for your reading... For the first deck, these two came out, and then as I was completing and finishing shuffling the Egyptian Tarot deck, these fell out. Like, it split apart, and, and this is what was here. So, just kind of want to touch on what we do have here and what I was picking up on. We have the Empress, and then we have the Six of Swords. I noticed right away that... You're in a very stable position, a very powerful, a very powerful position. You've worked very hard to get here. This is no easy task here to be in this Empress status here. The Empress status is all four Queens in one, the Queen of Pentacles, the Queen of Cups, the Queen of Swords, and the Queen of Wands. Moving away from what no longer serves them. I feel that you're illuminating a lot of things here too and not really doing it. It's not that you're doing it. I feel that with your energy and how elevated you are, whatever is resonating outside of you, or I shouldn't say resonating, what's vibrating outside of you, if it doesn't match your vibration, it's almost like, um, like I can see it. I can't really describe it. So I just feel that you are... There's a protective sphere that's around you and any energy that wants to come near and does not match this. It's like it, like the sphere will like kind of move a little bit, but it's moving. And as it's moving, it's knocking that unwanted or negative or toxic energy off and away from you, like bouncing off. And so it's not able, I feel that it's helping you to grow, but it's not able to affect you or anything that you have built or that you have going for yourself. And so I do feel with the Six of Swords here that you have experienced that toxicity just recently, or you're currently going through this, but you're looking forward to the future. You have been birthing something new. I feel that there's a lot of excitement and joy when it comes to that. And there's just out, outside distractions here. And I feel that you being in this Empress state here, you know what you're doing and you're doing what's best for you and for your family here. Moving to calmer waters because where you've been, I feel that there's been an awareness and illumination on this too, that where you have been in past surroundings or current surroundings have been very toxic. And I'm pointing to this dark area here where we notice the, the boat moving away from this. Also moving in a direction of east, but then also north here too. And I'm seeing this as a very large wand here. 
with that being an offer, I feel with this Empress here and then a masculine energy here, there's someone that's assisting you, whether it be male or female, but there's a, a masculine energy here with an Ace of Wands offer that's assisting you and helping you. And I do feel that for a lot of you, you do have children and you do have families. And um, again, you're making the best decision to move forward into calmer waters. These, these waters are very peaceful and very still. They're also very clear compared to these waters here. And it's large. So you're moving towards greater emotion. I feel it's about um, with that six energy, getting six of pentacles with the equal give and take. So it's about you receiving. I feel you've been doing a lot of giving. This just looks like someone healing to me. Someone being taken care of, being nurtured. Unconditional love, that energy of six there. After with the 15, the, being the card of the devil, that breaking down to a six there too, experiencing this here, moving away from that. That's not jiving with your vibe. Seeing the four of swords here and just the energy of this particular individual, where I do feel that this is you, doing some healing and being able to rest and I do see these two of swords here as possibly something that you were moving away from. But I feel this is a transmuted energy where it's aligning with these two individuals with the mother and the child here. And I'm saying mother because there's a masculine energy that's here, but I'm totally feeling this mother energy here. And we do have mother energy here with the Empress. Two of swords energy um, is typically about indecision. Being in a, a situation of contemplation. But on the lower vibrational end with that toxicity, I'm getting that two of swords being about um, it being very clear that, you know, you're an awesome choice and not being decided on. So those wanted to come out while I was shuffling. I am going to put these back in the shuffle and shuffle a few more times just to get those intermingled. Um, for your reading here, you do have a bonus reading that you have created. So I don't know if some of you seen the bonus reading that I did for Aries. That was by by request. But automatically when this came out, I said, oh, Taurus Moons, you know, they trying to get a bonus reading here. And that's fine. I feel that this message, these messages here are very much needed for you um, to make it clear. Because I do feel with the Aries and Taurus energy for your last couple of readings that you do have people that are watching you. I know I do. And it's fine. I don't mind. It's a great opportunity to learn. So getting to this deck here. This came out here. I don't. I, f I feel like um, this is the king of chalices. And then we have the ace of swords. Right away what I was getting is that there's someone in your life. Who may be um, a king of cups here. And the truth is it's it's being brought to light. I'm seeing the sun here. It's being brought to light on them. Or we have uh, Ace of Swords here beginning where this King of Chalices here could be this masculine here. Even though this is a King of Cups. I feel this King of Cup energy. The Cup energy is more about this King. And with this King energy, that being part of the Emperor energy, counterpart energy, where an Emperor is... Coming from a very great place of love here. And in that, I feel they're making change for themselves where the truth is being brought to light here. Whether it be about this person or it be about a situation here. And I was going to say too, I'm noticing what just popped out underneath this Ace of Swords. Before I moved on to this, I meant to get to this. But I noticed the three and the six. And then the other, the other energy that I was getting was nine. Three, six, nine. That being about great friendship and the energy that's within yourself, utilizing the tools and the power that you have from within yourself. And that being a majestical power there. So what we do have here is the Nine of Wands. The Nine of Wands energy is a wounded warrior energy. I see the Scarab Beetle. The Scarab Beetle energy is about um, a bug that takes their own poop. And turns it into gold. 
And so I feel that um, you've had to tap into that energy and you're tired. I feel that it's been constant for you and you tapped into it and you have mastered it to the point where you're this empress. But everything that you have done has gotten you to this level here. And I do feel seeing the levels here, you're just continuing to level up here. Very fruitful and abundant energy. You're protecting what it is that you have here too as well. Three energy is about also to collaboration. Three of Pentacles energy. And then I'm just getting the um, the energy of the fool, which is zero. The energy of the magician, which is one. And then the energy of the high priestess, which is two, which is all these cards right before the empress here. And then after this card is the card of four, the emperor, where I am getting this energy being um, a part of this here. But someone um, with a, a very good heart here that's seeing you and seeing the truth for what it is. And I do feel they may be a part of assisting you here to move away from what no longer serves you into calmer waters here. This is Libra energy. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. The Nine of Wands energy is fire energy. Sagittarius, Leo, Ophiuchus, and Aries. And then we have water energy. Cancer, Scorpio, Ophiuchus, and Pisces. So that Piscean energy, this could be a message from the Pisces moon energy here too. As much as in Pisces moons, their readings, they're going through a lot. Um, Aries moons are too. We'll see what comes up for you here too as well. I just feel like with the amount of painful swords energy that's been coming through lately, it's all about the bigger picture and seeing the blessings in disguise where typical sense could have us focus on, you know, the amount of pain or the amount of swords. But energy does flow where focus goes. That being very important, and um, I do feel with this Ace of Sword, there is a new opportunity here based on sound truth here and nothing but the truth. All right, so let's get to your reading. The true reading that we were intending on. I hope that those messages were helpful for you. And I'm also going to shuffle this other deck here too a couple more times. I do feel overall, and I was just teasing earlier, I do feel that Spirit wanted you to see those messages. Ten of Pentacles. This has been popping. And I do feel like a lot, I feel like everyone in the tribe here has been doing their diligent work and service. And as much as these old cycles want to keep presenting themselves, I do feel that for a lot of the tribe here, we just have not, um, we're not taking it anymore. <laughs> not taking it anymore. The cycles are ending and they're stopping. Coming to a firm ending so that they don't repeat. Because there's an importance here where it goes beyond the pettiness the negativity, the fighting, the backbiting, all of that energy could be put into positivity and things that are going to help nourish and grow and provide for our children. It's like it, it almost gets to a point where six of wands, it almost gets to a point, and this is success and victory. It gets to a point where the perspective can get lost because of negative traits such as selfishness, again, selfishness, greed. It doesn't, I mean, none of that really serves one person, even though it seems like it. At the end of the day, it does not serve because it's, it's not helping anyone. It's not circulating and it's not being placed in a position where it's allowed to grow and to feed and to give to those that are coming after us here, which is the main, the main thing. Doing this, this wonderful progression and elevation and ascension for ourselves, setting those great examples, being in a place of love at all times so that we are setting these wonderful examples for our children, 
for the young ones. I have a 20 year old. Well, she'll be 20. She's 19. I've been calling her 20 for like the last year and a half because she's she's a Taurus sun in tropical astrology. And I'm so proud of her. She's a boss. She takes care of her business. She don't ask for nothing. If she comes into a position where she needs anything, she does it for herself. And I'm really proud of her because that says a lot about myself. But then also, too, her being open to receiving that so that she is able to be self-sufficient and strong. And then I have a 15-year-old, a 15-year-old son. And so there's a lot of things that I've done on my path that I years ago would have never thought I would have done. I wouldn't, I wouldn't even have guessed I'd be here right now doing Tarot. But I'm here and I'm embracing it and I love it and I live in it and I'm supported heavily. It's the only way for me now. I will never look back and do anything different than what I'm doing unless I'm guided to do something as I'm moving forward. But a lot of the reason I did what I did was for my children and for their children and so on and so forth. For my generations so that these karmic cycles can come to a close and my kids are not carrying those burdens as they move forward in their life so that they can continue in love and joy and peace and happiness. We're going to leave this here. Your past card. Yes, completions and ending those karmic cycles. Those to the, the toxic cycles are ending. We have completion here. With you being in Empress status, as I said before, I just feel like you continue to elevate. And with that elevation, this is that sphere that I was getting. And so you do have energies that have been outside of you designed to come into your life, possibly test you to make change in your life, to help you to make this great change within yourself. And this is Empress energy here too. This is the card of 21. This breaks down to a three. That three energy being the Empress, but then also the full card taking a leap of faith on yourself and what it is that you want for yourself and for your future generations. And then the magician, the high priestess, moving into that strong empress energy. And then the balance within oneself with the empress and then the emperor being side by side. You're putting things to a end here, to an end. Completions. And um, as I said before, I just feel, you know, Certain energies, they want to recycle and seeing even the bird, like when birds eat and then they chew up food and they spit it back out in order to feed. I feel that's being stopped, like all this stuff, like there could be, I feel like there's uh, lower vibrational traits with all of these signs here. There's Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, Leo, and with that Taurus energy, the polarity being Scorpio and then Leo and Aquarius being polarities here. I do feel this is about directional energy. And I was going to mention that also too in the Six of Swords. I had a lot of downloads coming in as I was speaking. But I just remembered um, with that moving away energy and that east energy moving towards the east. It's also moving towards the north. East being about initiation and north being about refinement. So refining and not redoing what you've done that has kept you in a particular cycle where energies have been resurfacing, you're putting this to a close, all of it. And this is in your past. So congratulations if this is resonating with you on getting this done and manifesting this because this is uh, the end of the major arcana. And that 22 is coming up again. Lately, when I've been speaking on the major arcana and the manifestation cycle, this being the last card, but that 22, and I don't know, and the full card is coming up now that I say that because it's that energy of nothingness and it also has no numeric value. Being that it is an O and we do have an O here, I feel like that may be the card of 22. I feel like that's the card of 22 where the new, the new cycle that you move into of manifestation is starting with that wonderful mastery magician that you have mastered in the one, this master here, totally mastering. And also too, seeing that we see the wand here, there's one here 
where the magician has all four elements. That coming through with the empress and the emperor energy. But there's two wands here. I feel that's speaking to the amount of mastery that you have built, that you have worked hard for, and that you have gained. Seeing the purple, it, it's giving me royalty, but also the energy of Sagittarius and Ephucus. The Sagittarius energy being that free-spirited energy, but tapping and moving greater into your spirituality. And then the Ephucus energy being that snake charmer energy and that Chiron, wound, that that Nine of Wands energy that came through behind that Ace of Swords, the, the wounded warrior energy. So coming here to complete certain karmas and being successful at this. And I'm seeing two tens here too as well. So technically we have 41, that breaking down to a five. So we have 10, 20, 30, 40, and one. And that could be also speaking to all of the tens with these karmic cycles that you have completed, um, bringing things to a close, that signifying all of the elements there too, and just how far you've come and what you have mastered with the element of the pinnacle, with the element of the cup, with the element of the wand, with the element of the sword. That sword, and I didn't do that on purpose, but I just noticed saying the sword at the bottom here with that ace of sword coming out, that being a part of that foundation that you're building on as you move forward. Looking to the past, I feel you're saying goodbye to things and you're possibly looking at, you know, a particular energy. It could be Aquarius, it could be a Taurus right now that is attempting to penetrate your wonderful bubble, your atmosphere here that you have beautifully built here and it's also being provided by spirit here and you're saying goodbye to something or someone here as you move forward i shouldn't say move as you float forward you're floating you're floating so we have the world card here for your past card let's see what we have for your present card Yeah, we have the Seven of Swords. So this being that energy, I was just saying, you may have some energy here that's, you know, trying to penetrate your energy here and be a distraction. This is a total distraction. And this came out in the last reading here too. It's being brought to light. As much as, you know, I feel that with the completions and the closure, I just feel that this is being brought to light. I also feel that getting beyond this energy on this lower vibrational end, that you're being very strategic about what it is that you're doing as you're floating. And this being about that floating and how you've come into that, <laughs> that wonderful, magical power of floating and how well it is that you're doing, succeeding in what it is that you're not, it's not about getting away with it, but what you have to do because of what you've dealt with in the past. And there's that two of swords there. So on that lower vibe, that two of swords coming through there being about indecision. And then the, I'm, and I'm not even seeing this as five of swords. I see three of swords here and then another set of two of swords. And that I feel speaking about the recycling of cycles where an energy has wanted to stay in this particular vibe here, not wanting to elevate but making the choice to stay in the past, their energy is going towards West energy. And not only that, with that lower vibrational energy, with this being brought to light, I feel that you're contributing to that light there with that Empress energy coming through. Where I did say, you know, you don't have to do anything. You're just there. And because of what you radiate and how magnetic you are, it illuminates anything that doesn't vibe with you here. And so this is taking place right now in your present where I do feel there is a seven of swords energy that they're being exposed here. This is coming out. This energy is coming out across the board here where I feel with the collective, it's time. It's go time for any of the 
the nonsense, all this lower vibrational activity that's been going on for too long, and you being a leader in this to help bring this kind of behavior here to an end. Also helping these individuals to want greater for themselves and to realize that they can make better choices that are going to benefit not just themselves, where they may think that what they're doing here is going to benefit them solely, but making those higher vibrational decisions is going to I mean, it's 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 going to be, and I can't say that because everybody makes their own choices, but with experience, because I have been on the lower vibe of this, you know, I haven't always been pristine and that's how I got to where I am today. And I feel that applies for a lot of you here. Like, it's like you're at a certain place here. You didn't just get there because somebody said that you get to be there. You worked hard to get to where you, where you are. And you've gone through, you know, this stuff yourself and gone through those cycles and made the decision for yourself to make better choices for yourself because you didn't want to be in this position anymore where the consequences and the results were more painful than the actions themselves. Sevens being about being on the right path. And so overall, with that lower vibrational coming to a close, this just being exposed, I do feel that this is more about you and the strategy and the way that you are moving. And someone is loving the way that you move. I just heard that. I'm hearing the song by Outkast. <laughs> I love the way you move. Swords energy is air energy, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. And that's all. Let's go on to your future card. We had the lovers. Now this was in reverse. And I don't do reversals, but I did notice this. And I do feel that this is a part of that strategy and what you're stopping and bringing to a close because it's possible that there may have been too much of this lover energy where I am getting this being more about infidelity and that lower vibrational activity. Not so much about the energy between two and the connection. I'm not getting that at all. I feel that this is what is not going to be a part of your future <laughs> um, because it's in reverse. And what I do feel that you're manifesting in this strategic way, it's like it's very secret for you. I feel you're protecting this. It's protected. And you're not wanting to say much about what it is that you're manifesting because I do feel in the past you have been vocal about that. That being a part of the change there too, you learning from past experiences and how to move forward accordingly and manifest for yourself. Manifesting a two of cups instead of a lover's energy where this could be about um, a passionate energy, something that can be very deep and intense, but what is it built on? And this is another six energy, that six energy coming through. I do feel that's tied to the devil card energy with that match of the lovers and the devil energy and the devil card. These cards look very similar, very similar. And there's a split here. There's a split here, which is giving me, with this being in reverse, that energy again of possibly an Aquarius or a Taurus energy. And it could even be Scorpio or a Leo, where you're saying goodbye to things for good and no longer repeating. And this being about choice here, too, where someone, you know, third party situations, that infidelity and, you know, that coming through there, the two of swords where it's about indecision, someone not choosing you. This being about choice here when it comes to partnership and relationship, this is not going to be a part of your future. You're not manifesting that. I do feel that you're manifesting the energy of um, two individuals and strong partnership, but that being about a two of cups where it's that emotion, the Six of Swords energy, where that boat was moving towards all of that water, that water being very important, and Piscean Moon energy coming through again here in your reading. Um, 
to give that importance of the water and you nourishing yourself and then you nourishing yourself, that being more of a, a, a sturdy foundation, even though it's water, water is life. Water is life. And so that replenishing and helping you to grow and to receive what it is that you rightfully deserve and not being based on airy type energy here where it could just poof, be gone. And, you know, with that indecisiveness, a decision, a flighty decision being made and not being on stable foundation here. So I do feel that energy being a part of this future card that came out for you. I don't feel a need to look at the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and put this over here to the side. And then I'm going to go ahead and shuffle this deck just a few more times, the Egyptian Tarot deck, and we'll do your clarifiers. And I would say that this energy with their head turned towards this way, um, that they're seeing what it is that you are doing here too as well. But on that lower vibrational end, these eyes are closed. Their head is turned away from any kind of transformation. This could be resistance to transformation here too. Whoever it is that you have been connecting to. And I say have been because there's a lot of 10 energy that's speaking to endings, 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 and endings. This person not really watching or paying attention to where they're going here. And they probably should. And that being a part of their lesson there. If they decide to learn from it. It's all about choices. I'm going to do one more here. So let's clarify the world card. Those did not want to come out of my hand. <laughs> okay, we'll take this first one that, oh, we got one underneath. I'm going to take both of those. I wonder if it doesn't pertain to these two energies that I was picking up on strongly here. Let's see. So this was this way. Look at all this water. Look at all this water. I feel associating with these energies here. I don't even care about the numbers here right now. And this is another 10, but getting past the numbers with these both being in reverse, you're putting an end to the disconnect of emotion where you have not been receiving the emotion. I feel what you have been putting out, you are rightfully getting back, and you're, but you're making sure and manifesting sound foundation with equal partnership, equal give and take, emotion and love that you're going to get back because you've been giving it. But I do feel you've been connected to two energies here that have not been providing the emotion that they have been receiving from you. You're saying goodbye to that. Having like quadruple mastered <laughs> that magician energy being strong in your empress energy here and it's not gender specific again the empress and emperor are counterpart energy so that being about the balance that's within yourself seven energy coming through to attest to that with that being the house of libra seventh house energy that water has been missing you're putting it into that because you want love and you want love now and you deserve it but it was a matter of you taking the action, the strategic action to be able and learning, you know, from past experiences. It's just like, um, you know, playing a video game. You play it so many times and you see what you need to do in order to not keep, you know, losing a life or a mushroom or whatever the game may be. And you're picking up on that and being a, that being a part of that strategy there and manifesting what it is that you want to see for yourself, bringing in what you want to see. And I do feel it is about water. It's about your wish, nine of cups energy, and then a 10 of cups, which is the ultimate level of fulfillment here. When it comes to emotion, cups energy, Piscean energy coming through very strong, but then your polarity energy of Scorpio coming through. And then Cancer and a Fucus energy, that a Fucus energy coming through there as well. And then the energy of protecting what it is that you have, 
the six of swords and the mother and child energy that fourth house energy being cancerian energy and protecting your 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 home space and wanting security and not just that but the love being very very important i feel that being that truth that's being brought to light there too for that king of cups where they're seeing the truth for what it is and just I, I feel a lot of people that have been watching again that watching energy coming through seeing the lack of emotion that's been present but also how you're bossing up on this and taking control of your own life and your own atmosphere and making sure that you receive what it is that you've been getting or excuse me what you've been giving what you have been giving another 10 another ending Nines are about completion, but then also the Sagittarius energy, that free-spirited energy coming through there. And spirituality, greater spirituality energy there. All right, wonderful. So we're moving towards the water. Moving towards the water and that all-around abundance. Because that Ten of Pentacles did come through for you. Ten of Pentacles and Ten of Cups. It's like you, I feel, have mastered the energy of that nine and the completions with the tens that are present. Let's clarify the Seven of Swords. Clarify the Seven of Swords. These want to be jumbly, like hot potatoes. All right. So here we have the sun. But with this energy overall, like even with it being in reverse, I'm getting like both ways. Just as I picked up on here, the lower vibrational end, we have a sun in reverse. So I do feel this being tied to a Leo energy, but illumination being brought to what is taking place here with that seven of swords and on the lower vibrational end with this being in reverse we could also say too what i'm getting here is that um with that strategy and you not wanting you know you learning from your lessons here and moving in a certain way where you don't want everything to be known because you have i feel you've expressed all that in the past there especially with the amount of water here and the amount that did not return, you putting a close to this, um, with you having all that expression and emotion and deep feeling and intuitiveness, realizing how far it got you, you still being a part of these cycles here, that being brought to a close here. And so you having to move in a certain way, that being a part of this um, sun that's in reverse here too, that just simply speaking to you not wanting to Put that out like you have before in the past. But then also, too, that relation there again. The darkness that's coming out from this uh, lower vibrational end of the Seven of Swords. And you simply transmuting that energy and turning it around. This is a card of 19. So this breaking down to that overall one with that illumination... That illumination, that sun that was behind that Ace of Swords, that being a part of that too there as well. The truth being illuminated. The truth is being illuminated. And it's not just coming out in more than one way. It came out before we even did this reading for you. It came out in your mini reading with those cards and the King of Chalices and the Ace of Swords. That King of Cups, that Emperor energy is seeing the truth. And I do feel that energy is within yourself here too. Or everybody seeing the truth for what it really is. Seeing the rays here too. I'm getting these as like um, connected to like crab claws or Scorpio, scorpion energy here. And that could be having to deal with your polarity energy. But I do feel that is also kind of speaking to what it is that you have been through, the lessons that you have learned, how many times, and the way that you have maintained your balance, but also bossed up and grew into that, allowing and surrendering to the universe and allowing that sunlight 
to come in and feed you to help you to receive the clarity that you needed in order to bring about these closures here and completing these karmic cycles. Also, too, um, I feel that as this is like providing nourishment for you and helping you to maintain that balance, that balance coming through here, too, under that seventh house energy of Libra there. With that balance, you being able to make very sound decisions and move even greater into your manifestation where you are manifesting solid, sound, sturdy foundations that are built on truth, that are built on love, that are built on light. Allowing the light, you're being the light. And these two snakes here, I'm getting that as being the afucus energy of the snake charmers here. Strong energy of a moon raw coming through here too. Being in that power and that being a part of that empress energy there too. But then also the emperor energy too, as that's the card of Aries, the card of Aries. That sunlight and that fire energy just... It's like um, super intense and I can just, I can feel it. It's almost like the energy that's all in this card. It's just everywhere. It's everywhere. You have done that and you don't have to do, it's effortless for you too, I feel, because of how much work you have been doing. You can just sit there and radiate that sunlight energy. You move a finger. It's a, And I'm getting to the the video of the uh, Jackson 5, that video, can you feel it? And just the movements being like glossy gold, you being covered in gold. And that could be that upside energy here too, of the seven of swords and your strategy and just how you move. You're surrounded by a golden energy and everything that you do, it's like that Midas touch. That was a lot that came through there. So some of you may enjoy music heavily. You have a very uh, deep playlist let's just put it that way <laughs> which is pretty cool but strong leo energy the leo within yourself here i feel that being a part of the uh, karmic cycles there for sure with that leo lion being there too and what it is you've overcome what it is you're doing and how you're moving forward clarify oh look at that the lovers in reverse that was fast the end of burdens you are manifesting this being out of your life that's not being a part of your future we ain't doing this no more boo that's what i'm hearing it's a wrap on that it is a wrap on that another 10 another 10 speaking to the endings and just confirming what I had said, you're no longer, it's been a burden. It's been a burden. It's a lot to carry to have to be a part of these types of energies over and over and over and over again. You've learned another 10. Another ending, a strong ending. You being strong in mastery here very strong in mastery and manifesting what it is you want to see. And I do feel, again, I'll repeat it, relationships and connections that are built on truth, that are built on unconditional love, balance, stability, security, and not just with that unconditional love, but reciprocal emotion here where you're going to get that water supplied back to you because what this has been has not been supplying the connections outside of your wonderful sphere here have not been supplying that wonderful water that you have within yourself and have been offering as an empress and an emperor. The end of that, the end of these burdens here. Let's see what's on the bottom of the first deck. Yep, here's you, the queen of pentacles, because you're protecting what it is that you have. You're a very giving kind-hearted, loving individual who's very grounded and very stable, very lucky here too as well. You have no problem speaking your truth, but I do feel for the most part with this Queen of Pentacles and being strong in that energy when it comes to your stability, you know when to speak and you know when to not speak. You're very fruitful. A lot of you like to be outdoors. I feel you have a special place that you visit while you're outside. Or you have a, a certain place that you go or that you have built for yourself where you can go and meditate. 
there's an opportunity I feel that you brought in for yourself, but then also I'm getting the energy of something that is being put to an end and it, it's this energy here because it has been affecting your stability here. And making sure that as you're building with this new opportunity, what you're building on is stable. This not being stable and you're putting this to an end that West transformation energy, looking to the past. Again, saying goodbye. It's the same energy coming from this Empress and the World card and then the Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles, I just got the motion to move this here, looking on this and possibly reflecting, maybe wondering how you got into this stupor. And it's easy, I mean, you know, being at a certain level, it can be very easy to do. But again, it's all designed for the greatest good. Anything that we experience is always designed for our greatest good. You taking that opportunity and making that change and moving forward with the change energy, with the five and the four tens that we had here, that coming into that one, making a five, the change that needs to take place. Five here, five point star here, that energy being there too and that star. Notice also to the sunlight energy and the illumination and the magnetism that's coming out of these wonderful colors here on this card and the colors of abundance, very abundant energy, a very abundant energy that you have strongly built for yourself here. I feel that you've been blessed with it coming into this world with your Taurus energy. But you've had to come into your Scorpio energy here and that's what I'm getting there with that strategy. Working with your shadow energy, Scorpio being your polarity energy, working with that and doing the best for yourself, having learned. You're just learning and you're growing. And in that growth, you're bossing up and being a super magnetic, awesome, illuminating, wonderful person, even more than what you already were. That purple energy coming through there too, that being associated with the throne, you sitting on your throne here. That being connected to royalty and then also to the energy of Sagittarius and Ephugus. Let's see what's on the bottom of the Egyptian Tarot. And here we have the Knight of Wands. So with this aligning here with the Ten of Wands here, this is a lot of Wands energy. I'm just hearing no more fuckboy behavior, no more in and out. This is... a. Uh, stable energy uh, excuse me unstable energy with the quickness that it can come in and with the quickness that it can go out it just it's giving me a lower vibrational energy that doesn't lead to success it's, it's a part of that cycling energy that goes back and forth and back and forth and you're putting this to a close that being a part of that infidelity energy there too where someone you've been connecting to people i feel and that just being um, the message about, you know, where it was that you were and how far it is that you've come and just how far you have leveled up. But being in that stupor of allowing these individuals to continue to repeat this Knight of Wands here in your life and moving past this, there's an ending here with this. And that lack of emotion that's coming through, this being more about fire and the self-serving energy here, having this wand behind their back and not putting it forward to make an offer. Having everything but not sharing. And that being um, tied here to this great amount of water here that is missing. Putting it into that. You want love and you want love now. Because you worked hard. You continue to show who it is that you are. And you just continue to grow here too as well. It only goes up for you. All right, so Taurus Moons, this was your awesome reading. I hope that these messages were helpful. I think this is great. You're in a very stable place. You're manifesting. You know what you're doing. You're listening to your intuition. I feel a lot of things have been brought to light and there's clarity that you're bringing to light very effortlessly and others are seeing you for who it is that you are and the truth for what it really is. And again, you're manifesting stability, even greater stability. I feel you're already, you've already been stable in a stable position, but the penetration of others that want to repeat, you're not repeating. 
you've mastered double, quadruple, mastered that magician energy, saying goodbye to what no longer serves you, moving forward on to greater. And the Empress card, their energy that just came through there for me again as well too. So congratulations, Empresses and Emperors. Again, I do hope that these messages were helpful. I do hope that they were enlightening and empowering for you. And um, I just want to say thank you to every single one of you who continue to show your love and support. Welcome to any new subscribers. Do check out that Piscean Moon Energy. I will put that in the description box. And um, take great care. I love you. Peace.